It's time now for Countywide, a special presentation of Yavapai Broadcasting News. Join Paul David and Kyle Benedict as they talk with our community's leaders, newsmakers, and people in the know. You'll hear about the hot topics that affect all our lives in Yavapai County. And now here's today's Countywide. Hello and welcome to um, County Wide. I'm Kyle Benedict and joining me today is um, Christopher Keeler. He's the statewide sales manager for Quality Connections, um, QC office as well, based out of Flagstaff. And um, I'm really excited. Thank you for coming in here, making the drive over here. Well, thank you for having me. I guess first things first, you guys have, uh, obviously, we're, what, uh, we asked you to come in here to talk about the new contract yes. that you guys had. But first things first, um, Quality Connections. Just explain Quality Connections for well, me and how it got started. Well, Quality Connections is a nonprofit company based out of Flagstaff. Um, we are mission driven to provide jobs and opportunities for individuals with disabilities and disadvantages. Um, it started in 1999 in the living room of our CEO and his wife in Flagstaff with one client with cerebral palsy named Ben. And we've been growing from there. A couple of years later, after their first client in their living room, they started remanufacturing toner cartridges hmm. in their garage. Um, and then a few years after that, they got a small state contract for toner cartridges. When I started over seven and a half years, they had I think eight, 12 cartridges on a state set aside contract. And, and today, the uh, reason why I'm here, we got a $3.5 million wow. off supply contract with the state of Arizona. And so that's obviously going to help you guys um, expand throughout yes. central and northern Arizona, correct? Yes. Um, it really puts us on the same playing field as those big box guys, those national big box guys that are doing business with the state. Now we can walk in and right behind them and say, there's an alternative besides the big box guys. And now a, d a division of Quality Connections is your QC office yes. service, which um, explain what QC office is. QC office is is an online uh, retailer of off supplies, janitorial supplies. We sell furniture. There's over 40,000 items on, that are available online. And we what we do is we you order the products at qcoffice.org and then you we uh, use our people with disabilities to deliver it locally. And then we partnered with other companies in Phoenix called Valley Life and in Prescott uh, area. They have by exceptional industries. They use people with disabilities to deliver in those areas for us as well. So your employment and training services, um, are, as you mentioned, mm -hmm. for individuals with disabilities or disadvantages, right. how do they get involved with you guys? Uh, they have a counselor, say, with uh, other behavioral health agencies uh, within the community. They come to us and say, we have this client that wants to be part of your, you know, do some job training with you guys. And our job coaches evaluate them. They have, we have, we serve such a wide variety of individuals with uh, disadvantages, uh, um, autism, heart attack, uh, brain injuries, uh, some are in walkers, uh, some have visual impairment. And our job coaches work with them and then and we have different work settings within the company in the warehouse and manufacturing. Uh, we actually remanufacture cartridges. We have a testing room. We have uh, e-waste recycling, toner cartridge recycling, the call center, mm -hmm. administration offices. Um, a and wide it, variety. We I mean. have such a wide variety um, and everything is a professional setting. So it gives that client that edge. So after their time program, they've got life skills, job skills. They uh, have skills working with their disability because we have such a wide range. And the job coaches go out in the community and find work for them. And you're not only training these individuals, but you're also employing them. I mean, and so they're working for you guys while gaining that experience. Yes, correct? yes. And what's their involvement in QC office to help with that? Uh, well, we have an amazing uh, woman named Tanya that is our customer relations manager in the call center. She has uh, uh, degenerative uh, eye uh, condition where she uh, has special equipment to blow things up for her. The call center is very dimly lit because the bright lights blind her. And so uh, she is one of the first employees uh, that we've had. She's been there for over 10 years. Oh, wow. And so we, should, we have special equipment for her to read documents. Uh, she has a Zoom text program on our computer that blows everything up so she can see it. And so we serve clients like that within our office. So the goal is, is the goal eventually to have them stay with you guys or have them move on? Is it kind of up well, to the It's a double-edged sword, Kyle. It's a double-edged sword because of uh, the clients love the company so much. Uh. Um, I'm, I'm a lifer. And so 
and Tanya's a lifer. Um, we have several lifers at the office. So, um, but the clients come in and they love the environment that we we, we provide for them. But the end result is to job train yeah. them and then find them employment within the community. Of course. And so that's where the double edged sword is. Talk a little bit about that because here you guys sent out a press release on the on the fourth of this month. Yes. And, and it talked about not only providing employment services and training mm -hmm. opportunities for these individuals, but also <laughs> making them. Um, Better, uh, 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 I guess, a member in society right. to where they're they're not just they're out there making a difference right. in society. And what's the goal with that? I mean, how do you guys go about making sure that once they're done with you guys? Well, what we do is we team. have an amazing woman named Phyllis. Um, she's one of the job coaches, and she, like we uh, say, we hire someone that or McDonald's hires uh, one of our clients, and so uh, Phyllis will go out to the employer and work with the client so that because the employer doesn't know he has a, a business to run mm -hmm. he doesn't know about people with disabilities and what how to work with them and that's where our job job coaches come in and give them some support and that's what makes our program so unique is that we give that extra support for that employer so we can make that employee far more productive with expansion, obviously, as we mentioned, and mm -hmm. you mentioned, this $3.5 million contract is going to help with that yes. throughout this area. Um, you also have a partnership with um, Valley Life and Yavapai Exceptional Industries. Yes. Talk about that. Um, well, what we've done in uh, May of this year, we reached out to a company called Valley Life in Phoenix, and they work with people with disabilities in the same way we do. They have group homes. They job train people with disabilities. And so we want to expand outside of Flagstaff, but it's so expensive. And so we came up with this idea to partner with other companies that are very mission driven as we are. And the concept is simple. You order your products online down in Phoenix and then uh, Valley Life uses their people with disabilities to deliver it to you. Um, and the great thing about this program is anybody can use our products. It's not just state agencies or city mm -hmm. or municipalities. Um, any For small businesses. Small can business can use us. Um, that's what makes it so great because uh, small businesses like to support local, mm -hmm. and that's where we come in. Uh, three months ago, or August, I know time flies, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, 16 weeks till New Year's Eve, um, or 16 days. Um, so we partnered with Yavapai Exceptional Industries in August, and I'm telling you, I've been going to Prescott two to three days a week since August, and what they've done in that area is amazing. Um, all I have to do is mention their name. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. we know who they are. And they love the fact that they can order their, everything they would order at those big box guys. They can order through us, but also have the people with disabilities deliver it to them. Um, and one biggest benefit, because we're a 501c3 nonprofit, we mm -hmm. don't have to charge any sales tax. Oh, yeah, which, yeah. I mean, that's a nice bonus for It, it is. <laughs> um, it, you know, over a year span, a year span of ordering products, you know, the, the, if you order a pencil, it doesn't really seem that big, yeah. significant. But over a year, a span of a year, if you buy a thousand dollars worth of off supplies, that's like sixty, eighty dollars, yeah. hundred dollars, something like that. I mean, but it, it over time it adds it, up. It, it yeah, does. Eventually. It adds up a lot. And so, what's the website that people can go? QC Office. QC Office dot org, and that is dot org, not dot okay. com. So uh, uh, <clears throat> go there and browse through the website. Um, the product, the website is set up to where if you go online now, you'll look at our prices. But uh, with a user ID and password, you can see better than retail prices um, because the way the system is set up, you just send us your information, shipping, billing, stuff like that. Okay. And we can set you up. And everything's all online and uh, where to do it, where to click. Great, great. Well, we're going to take our first break. Okay. We'll sit down with um, statewide sales manager, Quality Connections, Christopher Keeler. I'm Kyle Benedict. We'll be back in a couple minutes. You got plans? You bet. Fifty million Americans struggle with hunger, but we can do something about it. Excuse me. What's going on? Dinner. Please join me in helping put food on their tables. Together, we can feed America. You guys keep going. I'm going to get the plate. Wait. Find your local food bank at feedingamerica.org slash hunger. I'm a teacher. Let me tell you what I make. I make learning a privilege, not a chore, and frustration a tool, not an obstacle. I make working hard seem easy. 
and giving up? Impossible. I make an old subject feel like a fresh thought and unconventional methods common. I'm a teacher. I make more. struggles of caring for a loved one, we hear you. That's why AARP created a community with experts and other caregivers to help us better care for ourselves and the ones we love. Welcome back to Countywide. I'm Kyle Benedict and joined with the uh, statewide sales manager, Christopher Keeler at Quality Connections. And QC offices is, um, we're, we're kind of talking based out of Flagstaff, yes. right? And um, you guys are right now just received the, the largest set aside grant in the program's history, yes. $3.5 million. Mm -hmm. um, first off, Community involvement. How can the community do? Can they donate items? I know you have a recycling service, yes, right? Can you explain that recycling service for us? Well, we actually have two recycling efforts. Um, we've always, from the from conception, is recycled empty ink and toner cartridges. Um, the amount of toner cartridges that end up in landfills and get thrown away on a daily or yearly basis is crazy. So all, our job is to keep those out of landfills. And so we recycle all ink and toner for copiers, printers, and fax machines. Uh, we've also started recycling e-waste, which is electronical waste, mm -hmm. towers, video cabling, VCRs, um, cell phones, batteries. Uh, we started recycling uh, this recycling program in 2010. Um, and last year, we collected over 15 tons of e-waste, just locally. Wow. Just Jeez. locally, not doing any events because... Um, we, when we could deliver off supplies to a business, oh, hey, I've got a computer, uh -huh. I've got, you know, this old DVD player, we can pick them up at the same time. And so it really, and we use our people with disabilities to handle everything. And that's another um, department internally is our recycling efforts where people with disabilities, where our clients with disabilities process the products or process the equipment or e-waste. Does it work? Does it not work? If it works, then say if it's an old DVD player, uh -huh. um, we have group homes, so we can take that DVD player and put in some of the group homes for our clients to watch movies at the, at the group homes. So we actually keep it at a landfill, and we partnered with a company uh, down in Phoenix called West Tech, and they recycle a much, much larger scale than we do, but we're just that collection mm -hmm. point for the community. So they don't have to go to landfill, they don't have to go here. We've toured West Tech, so we know that they're recycling. How, how would people in the community um, contact you and get a hold of you um, saying, I do, I want to donate, I have an old VCR, an old computer, how would they contact you about that? Uh, just call our toll-free number, mm -hmm. um, they said it was going to be on the screen, mm -hmm. Yeah. and so have them call that number and say they have some e-waste to be, be, uh, be picked up, or empty ink and toner cartridges to be picked up. Okay. And can you just uh, mention that number real quick for our radio listeners? 866-773-8787. I just have it on my paper right here. Um, great. Well, moving back to that contract, uh, because this is kind of the reason why we, we asked right. you to come in here. Three and a half million dollars. Um, and you're hoping this is, what's the goal with this, taking this money? What are you guys, what are you planning to do with it? Expand. Expand, Expand and grow um, more services. Um, the, the exciting part about this, Kyle, is that we get to help more people with disabilities. We get to hire more employees. We get to expand throughout Arizona, take our business model, and move it from city to city to city and partner with other agencies like YEI or Valley Life throughout Arizona so we expand our reach but stay within our core mission of working with people with disabilities and disadvantages. Um, it's exciting on so many levels. I mean, I, mm -hmm. I don't think we have enough time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> where, are your all, where are your locations right now? 
Um, our locations that we deliver to, mm -hmm. uh, Flagstaff, Sedona, Camp Verde, Cottonwood, uh, Prescott Valley, Prescott, Dewey Humboldt, the Phoenix metro area. Uh, we can deliver anywhere into the state, but those are the areas that we use our own personal delivery crews. Wow. So, what's the uh, overall? What's the what's the eventual like the plan? The plan. Where do you see, where do you see quality connections going in the future? Oh wow! Um, they warned me at the office about this. <laughs> <laughs> um, we we grow. We have our own building. We have a small warehouse uh, where customers can come in and. Uh, go to a kiosk and have a little, you know, having to put in their account number and have like 200 of the most used products in the mm -hmm. warehouse and they can go to the kiosk and type in or get their products that they want and have our guys fulfill that order and then the customer can drive around and pick them up. Um, we want to have a cafeteria, a much larger cafeteria. We have a, a kitchen in the company now where we cook clients for our our lunch or for our day program mm. and so the goal behind that is to teach our clients in different areas within the culinary industry because that is people you know restaurants love to support local and if you can have a person with a disability that has those job skills you know they might not be able to be a sous chef or maybe mm -hmm. they could but we can if we that's what we do is we give our clients with disabilities and disadvantages that extra edge so they can be more successful in the community what are some of these what are some of the um, I guess um, not necessarily opportunities, but the, what are they learning when they're with you? I mean, you mentioned that they're working in these warehouses yes. and it's just putting them to work and that right there is training in itself, right? Right, when we get our, uh, our off supplies come on a big pallet in the morning mm -hmm. and the clients have to sort them, uh, they're checking off things off the invoices, uh, they're processing uh, our recycled cartridges. We actually have a cage that has, like I said, we make 38 different cartridges in house. So they have to separate those cartridges from the ones we make, the ones we don't make. Uh, we send about 2,000 pounds of cartridges down to Phoenix to be recycled. Wow. Yes. I mean, so how many how many people do you have employed with you? Um, I think the last number is about 70, and that is okay. from the CEO all the way uh -huh. down to the graveyard worker at one of the four group homes. Wow. What's the average time there, these individuals are with you? You know, it depends. Um, some are a little more along. Uh -huh. um, some people have more work experience. Some people are more have um, are are more I'm not I'm trying to say mm -hmm. this politely that they're they're more together okay. and so and that's why they come to us uh -huh. so we can get them back together give them the skills give them the life skills um, give them those extra skills that they need to be successful in the community. you mentioned before before the show started um, <clears throat> when it came to interviewing because that's a that's a kind of a scary thing for uh -huh. people who are who are trying to get a job many mm -hmm. of them for the first time is going into an interview Right. and not really knowing what to expect. But you guys help out with that. Of course, of course. Our job coaches and employment services uh, department uh, will come to myself or even the CEO has done some mock interviews as well because uh, we give them that extra edge. Like they'll sit in front of me, like I'm the employer, and I'll say, okay, you should have said this, you should have said that. Uh, don't say that, sit up straight. You know, mm -hmm. those little things that an employer would look at because, um, you know, going on an interview is always daunting, isn't it? Yeah, no, of course. <laughs> I never have to do it anymore, but. Uh... <laughs> and you also help the employer. Uh, yes. Right, you help help them with how to, I guess, um, how to deal with an employee with a, with a disadvantage, correct? Right, yeah, we've, uh, we've served over 180 clients last year with an 86% success rate. And that success wow. rate is based on our job coaches uh, that go to the employer, uh, say at McDonald's, that they're learning a new a new task. And so the employer will talk to the job coach, okay, this is the task, and then the job coach will talk to the employee of one of our clients mm -hmm. and work with that client to, hey, this is how it's supposed to be done. If there's any problems in the future, the employer can call our job coach, they come over to the employee's uh, business, or employer's business, mm -hmm. and work with that client. So there's an extra added support. And that's what really makes Quality Connections such, you know, uh, a premier agency working with people disadvantages or disadvantages. <laughs> you're not just, I mean, you're not just getting them ready for a job and then kind of sending them on their way. Right. You're helping out and you're willing to work with the employer as well. We, our job coaches have worked with clients for years and years and years because, you know, over the years, you know, they might learn a new task. Mm -hmm. And so it's really good uh, peace of mind for the employer. Great. Well, we're going to take our second break. Okay. Uh, sitting down with Christopher Keeler, statewide uh, sales manager for Quality Connections in Central and Northern Arizona. Um, we'll be back in a couple minutes.
witnessed him have two heart attacks in ICU. He went through seizures. We'd much rather have Aaron like this than dead. A lot of parents don't have that luxury. He can't talk. He can't walk. This is a condition Aaron will live with for the rest of his life because he abused prescription pills. Mind your meds. Learn more from the partnership for drug-free kids. So, I'm kind of new here, but I've noticed a trend. My human does this funny thing where she goes around and gets all my toys, and then she hides them in that basket by the door. You know, but it's always the same basket, and it's always in the, in the same place. And then she acts so surprised when I find them, but, you know, she's putting them in the same basket. Again. It's like, hello? That's where you put it last time. You were the worst at hide and go seek. So, what would you bring to my company? What do you need? I need problem-solving skills. I got through high school without a car, a phone, or a computer. No college degree, though. Not yet, but life's taught me a lot, and I'm ready for more. Well, you're not the typical kind of candidate that I hire. But you are exactly what I'm looking for. Your company could be missing out on the candidates it needs most. Learn how to find a great pool of untapped talent at gradsoflife.org. Welcome back to Countywide. I'm Kyle Benedict, uh, joined with uh, Christopher Keeler. He's the sale, statewide sales manager yes. for Quality Connections. Um, so just again, to kind of refresh, we only have a couple of minutes here um, left, but how, how can the community donate items again, and how can they get involved? Well, they can call the 800 or the 1-866-773-8787 mm -hmm. number, um, or go to qcoffice.org, and uh, there's some windows on the website they can click on to... Uh, get e-waste or toner cartridges picked up or donate anything because we're a 501c3 nonprofit so they can do the state of Arizona tax credit with us as well help support our clients oh, great. our yeah. programs yes great and then qcoffice.com qcoffice.org qcoffice.org okay um, thank you <laughs> yeah of course don't want to get that one wrong but qcoffice.org again you can go on there um, office supplies and not just for individuals, but for small businesses as well. Yes, and we really do cater to that small business. We're local. There's so many local initiatives out there. Um, if you're just a small business that, that just want to help support, want to help support our programs and people with disabilities and use those products you use every day, uh, go online, call our office. We'll get your account set up. Um, and it's so easy. And I'm going to order it. So, I mean, the, yeah. and plus the, the, the clients that come in will light up your office and you'll just like, that's why I that's buy great. from QC Office is those people with disabilities that deliver my product. Great. Well, thank you so much for being Kyle, here. Kyle, thank you. Yep, thank you. And again, um, qcoffice.org, 928-773-8787. Uh, I'm Kyle Benedict, and that's today's Countywide. We'll see you next time.